<laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm in a good mood. Um, it's Friday the thirteenth, and welcome back to hell. So, what's going on, and what's made me want to grab a cup of coffee and do a Friday coffee time with Cobra? Well, I just got my demon ring back from being cleaned slash polished so she's looking all nice and shiny and even the person that did it was like uh, this is a very unique ring um, and wanted to know a little bit more history about it and I told them that uh, a friend of mine an ex-girlfriend of mine actually um, from secondary school she made it for her art project for her GCSEs and um she gave it to me just shortly before she passed away. And, um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good, good gift. And this ring is going to be cremated with me. It's going nowhere. It's, it's mine. It's part of me. Um, <laughs> so it is what it is. But I wanted to show you this. Boop. This is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the fact that I am downloading the entire high-definition client of World of Tanks, all 80 something gigs of it. And I've only got seven gigs left, and I, it's just plopping along anywhere between 10 and 11 megs. And I don't know why it won't go any higher. My speed tests, and I can do a speed test for you real quick. Boop. We'll just do a quick speed test. Here you go. Do, 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 do. Now bear in mind this is me with me downloading okay the game if I was to pause it and redo the test look at my upload oh, my uploads in maze balls so if I was to go pause okay run the test again bit inconsistent it is paused right Okay, ah, that's why it wasn't paused. Nah, now it was. So I'm gonna cancel that and retry. Whoop! <laughs> it's like, okay, let's go. Yeah. Now bear in mind, I know that the router that I got with my package does have a chipset issue. Um, Virgin has not. That's my ISP. Virgin have not dealt with the. Um, issue right this ha at hand but I'm going to throw it into um, modem only mode and then get this beautiful thing this lovely uh, uh, TP-Link AC1200 dual band and um, the reason why is it will handle 1200 megabits per second which is what I want so all my machines including my consoles and yes I do have a couple of consoles um, granted they're not online enabled consoles but I have consoles and if I want to get a, a, a PlayStation 3 back or a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox or whatever and just play whatever games I play on it which is usually um, fighting games you know like Tekken things of that nature I'm set I'm looking at this from my work perspective, which is my Twitch, my YouTube, things of that nature, I will be able to upload content faster, better. I'll be able to stream, you know, 1080, 60 FPS to, to Twitch and YouTube and various other places and it not be an issue anymore. No more bottlenecks. I'm also going to test um, um, enlisted because I was getting that stutter issue which was stopping me from streaming so hopefully we'll be able to get that sorted but before then I want to go back and I want to do a speed test by Okola these guys are the there you go University of Oxford this IP address is not not static so you can see this I don't care no okay floating between 90 to 100 so I'm losing 10 megs somewhere now, I'm not sure if it's the old 
uh, hard line connection from the router downstairs to my switch hub up here or it could be my other two computers or another device that is connecting to that uh, internet that could be getting it somewhere because I'm losing like I said I'm losing 10 megs either or so I know it can't be um, and I've only got what what's my ping 15 ping okay all right let me change the server to I want to pick let's pick somewhere in the USA there we go Now the reason why is because I try to connect to the water tanks US server. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, that's that's Taipang City, China. Okay, okay, my my bad, my bad, my bad, dog, my bad. All right, but still, even then, very impressive. Very impressive. I am impressed by this. Of course, there's a bloody Windows update. Your device needs to restart to install updates. Okay, I'll do that here in a bit after I finish this video. All right, I'm going to change servers again. Uh, let me pick... Here we go. Let me pick Salt Lake City, Utah. Now I know that that's center um, US. And I know that um, Wargaming used to have servers in Salt Lake City, but they've moved them, I believe. They moved them to Texas. So there we go, we're almost getting our full strength. Interesting. Interesting. So let's change it to let's change it to New York City. Albany, New York. The reason why is because a lot of my jobs, my remote work jobs, the main offices are in one's in Salt Lake City, one is in Los Angeles, and the other one is in uh, Albany, New York. Or is it Poughkeepsie? It's either Albany, Poughkeepsie, or no, it's Endicott, sorry. Endicott. Mm. I will take it. Because my previous ping was with my old business internet was in the upper 170s. The fact it's down to 84, it's literally just cut in half. I will take it. Now this is hybrid fiber. Basically, it is still cable from my house to the street but then from there it's all fiber so I will take that I will take all that so I'm gonna go back to our game client I'm gonna resume and I am gonna see how fast this little six gig gets done you can see just the internet's just ramping up I don't know, I, I think there's like a, it, it, it's definitely the chipset in the router, because from what I've been reading, a lot of people say that the um, the um, call handler in, on the kernel has an issue, and Virgin have tried to send pushing out um, updates for it, which is why when you get a new hub from Virgin, it takes about 10, 15, even up to 20 minutes for the hub to receive all those updates for the kernel, reboot, you know, install, reboot, the EEPROM, reboot again 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 it's not a software issue it's actually a hardware issue um it's not arm it's intel intel um on in my honest opinion intel shipped 40 chips uh, and so you know um the company that that made the routers 
um, just use what they had on hand on sh off the shelf and it shows um, in fact I'm getting 11.5 megabytes per second shows there's something going on here I think it's with Wargaming's client so let's check use all computer resources and see what if this goes up I'm even going to go task manager and we can see performance wise that's my GPU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 uh, Ethernet yeah it's pegged out 54 100 megabits per second yeah it's 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 pegged but for some reason it's stopping at megabits per second so interesting so we're just gonna let this do this and I'm only using a, a regular um, uh, onboard onboard motherboard uh, LAN card I'm not using any fancy gaming LAN cards or anything like that there's no point they don't do anything. In fact, they actually pull resources um, elsewhere off your system. So, I used to have this fancy gaming LAN card. It had a built-in sound card as well and whatnot into it, and so you could uh, uh, um, sort of VOP programs didn't pull uh, resources and whatnot when I had a really shitty computer and really shitty internet when I lived in Utah, and so that's all completely changed. So yeah. According to this, we are pulling 1.1 meg, uh, um, megabits per second from the router. We're not pulling the 100. There's something going on there. We're sending and receiving. See, we're, we're receiving the 100 gigabits, but we're only sending one. That's fine. I'll take the receive. So, yeah, we are receiving it. We're receiving it from um, Wargaming. But this doesn't seem right but we are chugging along we're chewing through the six gigabytes now I have seen people use this internet with an Xbox uh, one and downloaded Forza Horizons like that oh steam that'll be a good one I will find maybe Star Trek online or something like that that's notorious for having uh, large files and, and horrible launches or things like that so this is just a, a a simple test I just wanted to see uh, what this was uh, also uh, I'm still currently serving a temp ban on Wargaming EU for quote unquote, pushing a friendly out into combat no I didn't I didn't push a friendly out into combat it was a bot and I know it was a bot because the tank remained stationary and its turret was doing this whole this number it was swinging from side to side from side to side from side to side wasn't responding to anyone talking to it in chat it was a bot and it didn't even fire its gun it fired zero shots zero zero shots and yet wargaming banned me not the bot because i've checked and the bot's account is still active in fact it's since i got banned which was two days ago three days ago it has still played over 150 games what the fuck are you doing, Wargaming? You're punishing your player base for trying to, 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 to... Again, EU is riddled with bots. Riddled. Riddled with bots. And they know it. Wargaming know it. And they're punishing people who are reporting the bots. In fact, I even put up a video. A small little clip of a bot. And you can see it's an Excelsior. And literally, its turret is doing this number. It's moving from side to side like this, and the barrel is doing this. Because the aimbot, the shitty fucking coded aimbot that they're using, can't lock on, can't differentiate the difference between a friendly tank and an enemy tank. So it goes, friendly, enemy, friendly, enemy, friendly, enemy, friendly, enemy, friendly, enemy, friendly, enemy, friendly, enemy. And, and it doesn't fire. It, does, it fires no shells because they load up the game with zero shells. So they don't lose credits. They literally just make credits. That's all it is. And it's always tiers uh, uh, 4, 5, 6. 
It's very rarely you're going to see bots at tiers 8, 9s and 10s because you you lose money if you don't do any damage. So if you do no damage at tier 8s, 9 and 10s, you will not, you, 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 there's no way. Even if they didn't take premium consumables, so you're not taking case of cola or chocolate or, or, you know, or pudding and tea, you're not taking any of that. And you're taking a basic fire, uh, a basic uh, um, repair kit, a basic uh, um, field med field, uh, healing kit, and a basic fire extinguisher with no ammo, and you do zero damage. They make maybe two grand, three grand in credit, but that all stacks. Think about it. 3,000 credits at 150 battles. Do the math. Do the math. See? This is why I genuinely think Wargaming, if you're going to do put in a, a bot detection system, or even an anti-cheat system, put one in that fucking works and is not some bullshit kernel level crap. Okay? I'm looking at you, Vanguard. Which, by the way, you're junk. Uh, Battle Eye, junk. Um, I literally, right now, no joke, on my computer, I have an injectable bypass for Battle Eye. Why do I have it? Because I like to play some games on my Linux laptop. And I do. I have a Kali Linux laptop right here which has got the newest update by the way oh my god do you are on the newest update oh heaven crimmers oh look let me just put my password in Ta -da. that's why because i have to use it with my laptop to inject the bypass, their anti-cheat, just so I can play certain games. Which, by the way, play better, even on a laptop, than on a Windows desktop. What's going on there, Windows? So, that said, that's my work laptop, by the way. That said, look at it just chugging through, and it got like a gig left. Absolutely, oh, mm. And yes, I will, once this is all downloaded and installed and whatnot, I will play a, um, a game or two. My memory is pegged out. Interesting. While I'm still you know, recording. So I know it's not OBS. So it's definitely Wargaming that's slurped up all of my freaking RAM. By the way, this um, 32 gigs of RAM is going to be getting bumped up to 64 or 128. I can't remember. Just off top of it. Probably 128. Hey, really, why do you need 128 gigs of RAM in a gaming computer? Because this isn't just a gaming computer. This is also my video editing and rendering computer. The old rendering computer over there has been poorly maintained. And it's on me. I've got to go through it. In fact, I've got to update some of the hardware in it. Um, because I now only use it for streaming my painting. I've got a table over there. It's got a little overhead light. Web, um, webcam I just fixed. But I've got a uh, microphone and whatnot. And so when I do painting streams or I want to stream uh, larger booster box openings. Because this one's got my cracker pack um, video stuff. But when I want to do like a big booster box or I get a bigger package, I take it over to that. I wonder if I'm doing a 3D print. Okay, point. 3D print. Yeah, I do 3D printing. Um, and I paint the models and I ship them off to whoever wants them so that gets that gets done over on that table which needs to be cleaned off because it's an absolute pigsty right this second so thank you depression uh, once that's all done and dealt with uh, I will be um, a happy chap and that computer will be breathing a sigh of relief but my Christmas present to me is to whack out a ton of RAM in this machine because this machine is pulling double duty right now my um, home NAS system that's got all of my um, backups and stuff is right there. 
that that's got an integrated graphics card it literally is not meant for anything other than just to be a huge thumb drive in es in essence all right so it's installing now interesting it was that quick internet has just calmed the hell down interesting i haven't dropped any frames rendering's not gone anywhere interesting there we go let's click play button the play button all right welcome back a generous when no idea what that was. I didn't even click anything. Alright, interesting. So we're going to close that up. We're going to put the speed test up there and we're going to put that there. Cool. I truthfully cannot wait to try and um, download some some games and see how quick uh, Steam handles my new connection. Warframe should be fun. Yeah, apparently my game capture is not capturing the game but I'll just capture the full screen instead it's all good loading game client okay bear in mind this is on a m.2 ssd I've got nothing but I've, I have no spinning media drives in any of my machines anymore I don't do spinning hard drives no <laughs> no spinning hard drives none of that the only things that spin in my machines is fans and pumps that's it no spinning media in anything else at all will not have it <laughs> I just don't just don't have it come on can't tell the difference between the high def and the am I I'm going to double check my settings to make sure I'm using the high def client should be graphics uh, yeah details improved yep no, let's whack up the loads to ultra the motion blur off all right apply done back to game now I want to actually play a game and so I think I will play my ELC I'm not gonna run any boosters or anything because this is just a simple play test and if this does work I will be going live later on today uh, about uh, I'll go live I go live at five on Twitch so oh nice bloop, bloop, bloop. interesting ping is still fluctuating it's about 130 ish but it's stable at 130 i.e. it's not ramping up to like 180 and then back down to like so uh, interesting interesting uh, I am going to go we will be improvising like always Mm -hmm. 
So the Bichelion is in that perfect position to stop me from elevating further. Okay, so the LT's spotted him. Let's see if we can help the LT. Track. Nothing. And nothing. Okay. Nice. I'm going to try and go for this even night down here. Oh, he's a smart little shit. Oh, bruv. Thank you. No, no, no. Right, he's done. Okay, the Belisk is in... Building up here. If he's smart, he can get an angle on me. Still, oh bruv, get off the hip building. Okay, so I found the object. He's not there, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. He thinks he's stealthed now. LT, seriously, bruv. Why'd you bring him to me? Oh, I mean, oh. What the? Oh. He's racked, tracked. Nice. He's racked, tracked. Do it again. Wheels keep on falling. Got him wrapped, tracked, do it again. Nope. Nope. Yay! Reloading. So we know where they're at. I think it's safe to. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> Not too bad. I'll take that. IS7 had a fucking good game. He did. He had a bloody corker of a game. Four kills for an IS-7, that's good. My ping, although high number wise, didn't reflect in the frames per second or anything like that. So I'm, I'm happy with that, but bear in mind, I'll, I'll play one more game, but with a different tank. Um, let me try a medium tank. Um, I've got my Barask. I mean, I, it's not got the best crew, but I've got a Barask. Actually, you know what? No. Um, if I want to get into some shenanigans, 
Let's take a heavy instead. Renegade. Oh, okay, cool. What's this? Cool. Claim my reward. Who has the least? France. Good. Who has the most? Czech. Bad. Um. Give me Germany. Awesome shots. All right, one more game. Mm. In fact, the coffee's almost gone. So I'll do one more quick game in this, and then we'll do a quick um, synopsis, and um, we will uh, look at. Do as a download test. Um, they don't require a separate client. Ooh, that's the thing. They don't require a separate client. Warframe, you need a separate client. I don't know. I can't, can't think off the top of my head. All right, so we're at Emperor's Border. Okay, we've got BZ 176. He's on my ban list instantly. Um. I just don't like the BZ-176. It's just, it's too overpowered. You, you've got no turret weak points. None. Oh, well, you got two little tiny cup. No, that, that's like trying to shoot the nipples off of a fish at, you know, 1,200 yards. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It's where I've got the great big cacking tit thing right on top of my head. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, weak spot. Weak spot. Whole turret's a weak spot. You know what I mean? There, there's... That thing, no weak spots, and it shows, and I'm sorry, but I don't have one, don't get me wrong, and even if I had one, I wouldn't play it. I would probably load up just HE and just sit in the back and pretend I'm artillery. <laughs> like I do with it, like you can with a KV-2. Um, but I, I, I would not, in any way, shape, or form, try to actually, like, three mark it or anything. Not that I care about three marking. I barely even care about mastery badges, to be honest with you. I just care about having a fun game where players can actually, where, where, you, where you can actually just play and have fun, you know? And I know that sounds, you know, controversial, which it fucking shouldn't, because this is a video game. Hello? People play video games for fun. They don't play video games because it's, you know, fucking, uh, 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 um, What's the one I'm looking for? Um, because it's not fucking um, a job or anything. Yeah, with Twitch coming along, yeah, I get that. But that's the thing, and that's one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm. Ooh, fuck a duck, 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 fuck a duck. Did you just derp your load? Uh, hello, dipshit. Oh, style. Oh, IS two. Okay. Of course. Yeah, of course.
wrong. Oh, you dick. I wanted to ram him. <laughs> Jab him. Yes, of course they're capping. That poor... I feel bad for that um, style waffle trigger. He didn't know where to shoot me. Um, it's okay. It happens. Most people are like, what the fuck? Because the, the Renegade is a very underrated tank. Um, same as the uh, Chief and T uh, Type 95. A very underrated tank. It's because... Previous people that looked at that tank, um, mostly saw it as, as, cause you used to get it as a, um, it's over. Yeah. Of course, and I would derp that shot right near the end, what no. That's over. Cause you idiots fucking can't read a map. And then again, I'm, I'm, I'm partially, I'm to blame as well because I was too busy battling, you know, three tank destroyers and a fucking heavy tank while half my team was sitting there going what do I do, what do I do, what do I do calm down, breathe see enemy aim at enemy, shoot enemy congratulations seriously, it's not hard it's not hard bruh, it's not hard alright, anyway guys that's World of Tanks and gameplay is much more smoother now so I will be playing a lot more on the North American server let's crack open my Steam account and so, of course, there's an update for Steam. There's always an update for Steam. Why is there always an update for Steam? Well, I don't know why there's always an update for Steam, but there's always an update for Steam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Really? Now you're verifying the installation from your own servers. Do you not trust your own servers? Like, can you please give me Steam? Like, hello? Ah, oh, Jesus. What is going on? Alright, so we've got Forza Horizon 4. Don't care about that. Let's take a look at our library. Real quick. I've, like I said, I've got tons of games. I've got Street Fighter 6. You know. I've got Warframe. War Thunder. Again, you need an independent um, installer for that. That's not what I want. Again, independent installer. That's not what I want. I want a game that I can just go click, click and download. So we've got Dark Tide. I don't have the 60 something gigs free on one of my drives right this second. There's Z Steel Soldiers. I loved that game. Fucking, I want someone to come up with like modding tools for that game because I would oh, I would love that. I, I'm not even joking. I would love that. Dawn of War 3 is an absolute fucking piss take. Uh, Dawn of War 2 was always fun. Dawn of War 2 was always fun. Um, Dark Tide, European Escalation, that was a fun game. Uh, so many games on my on my list that aren't even around anymore. Because the servers are just gone. Uh, Monster Sanctuary, that was a good game. I played it for a bit. Left 4 Dead 2, always fun. Lost Ark, March of War, they're gone. That was a really good game. But they're gone now. Yeah, see, the store page is gone. If you go to the community hub. Yeah, see. Yeah. I don't know why, it was a fun game. It was a... Um, army strategy game like an RTS but you use cards like uh, Magic the Gathering so you had units that had specific power and toughness and once you captured certain resource points you got more resources to summon more powerful units so it was a very interesting strategy game um, what else has gone uh, Pox Nora Pox Nora is now owned, was owned by Sony I used to love playing Pox Nora um, but that's gone Mobile Suit Gundam Operations, again, that needs a separate installer. Um, oh, where was it? There was um, Sync. That was a good one. But that's gone now, too. Sync, there you go. Termination of Sync, that, that, that game's gone. 
uh, tactical intervention they're gone um, tech wars online is gone tech wars global conflict which was their original single player mode gone oh no it's got a new update oh interesting but their online version's gone okay uh hawken that's gone as well um raya hunt heroes hell yeah hell let loose hell let loose hawken yeah hawken's gone hawken was a good um free to play version of mech warrior online and then mech warrior online came out and just crushed it gladiator online i believe that's gone now as well yeah there's been so many um good um indie games that i like to play enemy front that was a good game enemy front was a good game the problem was, was the rate of fire on weapons was locked to your frame rate so if you could go past 30 fps you've now got a pistol that fires faster than an smg go figure um what else is there company of heroes is always just fun company of heroes one and two speaking of where is my company of heroes two i know i've got company of heroes company of heroes two it's 34 gigs i might install that later APB reloaded, that was fun, and it's gone. Um, it's got re renamed to something else, but uh, Anarchy Online, again, needs a separate um, client. Among, uh, among Us is fine. Aftermath needs a separate client. Seven Days to Die. Um, hmm. Call of Duty Black Ops. Mod hmm. I'll think about that. But let's. Oh, Days Gone. That was such a good game. Oh, O'Brien! Oh, it was such a good game. They left so many questions unanswered in that game. Oh, bastards. Uh, Halo Infinite, again. The fact that this game is almost over 70 gigs and you still don't even get the, the single player. Just, it's insane. Heroes in General's gone. Everyone knows Heroes in General's is gone. Um... What the hell was Homefront? The multiplayer service for Homefront is gone, but the single player is pretty fun. Horizon Zero Dawn, again, 80 gigs for that. It's a fun game. It is a fun game. I, I want to do. I wanted to do a let's play on that. Infinite Crisis, um, that was fun, but the servers are gone now. Um, Infinite Lorange, again, fun game, but It had its issues. Insurgency, again, fun game. Insurgency Sandstorm, amazing. Um, Iron Sight, sadly, they're gone too. It was an amazing first person shooter. I enjoyed it. I did videos on it, weapons guides and whatnot. It was a really good game, but it just, play base wasn't there. And it, and, and it sucks. Um, so I'm going to pick a game. Repopulation, that was a good one. But I think, yeah, I think they're gone too. Repop, repopulation that went. Um, Star Conflict, I think they're still around. Yeah. Star Conflict is still around. Star Wars Timelines is still around. Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds, amazing game. Star Wars Galaxies, <laughs> Sherry, I love my Star Wars Galaxies. Um, talking of, actually I have a... Um, emulated server for Star Wars Galaxy. I'm, I'll pop back on it. Uh, Star Trek Troopers Terran Command. That was a good game, but it was very short-lived. Um, and I mean that. Unfortunately, the campaigns... I, I just breezed through the campaigns. The campaigns was too easy for, for me. Um, but... Let's... I just want to see... You know what? Let, yeah, let's pick a, a smaller one. Like Enemy Front. You got 7 gigs, I'll take it. Uh, we will put you on E, install, accept. I'm going to go to downloads and we're going to see how fast it downloads. Oh god, look at it, it's immediately jumping up in megs. 22 minutes to download 8 gigs. It's it, it's going higher. Oh my god! Oh 
the thing that's slowing it down is the disk write speed, and that's an SSD. I, 11 minutes, and the game's mine. Okay, I'm, I, guys, coffee's done. Video's done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Jesus.